Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting. Guys, in this video today, I wanna to show you a install that we just done on this beautiful cabin right here. Um, now, um, I wanna keep in mind a couple things is this cabin has got its water system off-grid. Um, we've come out and um, we've took the solar, done the solar for them today, so that noisy beast is silenced for good, um, unless they ever needed to back up uh, the solar with the generator. But um, I'm gonna spin the camera I'm going to show you how we got the wiring up to there and then show you the panels on the roof and sorry the generator's running because I filmed the panels earlier in the day because I was afraid it was going to get in the evening time like it is right now and, and it did. So I'm going to spin the camera, show you the wire up, show you the panels, and then we'll go in and show you the setup. I'll give you some info about the generator and, and people always ask how much this costs. This costs the customer thing about $11,000. Um, that's materials, labor, travel costs. All right, so I'm trying to start getting that in there for you guys that ask. So I'm gonna spin this around, I'll show you guys, here we go. All right, so right here, um, we've got the outdoor shed um, that is a very low cost option for a lot of people. This is the water system that goes in to feed the cabin. I'll ask them if I can give you a tour of this here in a minute. Um, the conduit, we angled that up like that because I didn't want to go up and then have the wire going over the house and exposed like that that far. Um, so what we done is we come up, angled the head, done the uh, drip line, and then went just a little bit over right there, and then you'll see the panels in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to flip around here, and then we'll show you inside the box. Just want to send a shout out to my help team here today that helped <laughs> smash it out. Literally. I <laughs> think they're ready to go call it a day. With that said, guys, I'm going to get on the roof and uh, show you the rest. Of them. Okay, guys, so here is the top of the cabin with the solar modules um, done at portrait for the customer on the top side. And then we had two extra. Um, that they wanted installed so we put that on the lower level as they would request it um, So that's pretty much the layout on the roof line And it's a lot of power up here For especially just for a small cabin setup. I mean this will accommodate them quite well you definitely did it. Did Oh did she? This is our uh, special helper on the job site today <laughs> guys. This is Millie. She's a freeloading corgi Love her very much <laughs> All right, so this is the inside of the box. Um, you can see the uh, conduit coming in here, terminating into the OTG door. And then from there down, uh, we're dropping to the battery bank. Um, the customer can add an additional whole another bank beside this one later on. There's two banks in there right now. This is a 24 volt setup. And um, everything's common bonded as far as grounding. That's going down and out to a ground rod. Um, this is one Magnum 40, 24 PAE unit is what this one is. Um, now you can always stack these units. This customer can stack an additional unit, have 60 amp service. Um, the service out here already right now, it's 30 amp pretty much. So that's gonna accommodate all their needs. Um, we put the louver vents in so that air can circulate through. In the winter time, you can always uh, cover those with like some insulated foam. Uh, to keep it um, insulated inside the box. You can put foam on the walls in the winter time and it's just a really cost effective solution for storing all this equipment in one place and you see the footprint that it leaves, it's not that much. Um, and you can close it up and lock it too. I like that about them Home Depot boxes. Um, right here we have the wire coming up through the porch is going out to the generator you seen at the beginning. The wire coming back out is plugging into the original plug they had for the generator going to the house um, for service. And the reason that we done it this way is because that if for some reason the system ever failed and say the Magnum died out, they could easily just hook another cable into the box and go right out to a generator and have redundancy and that way got back up power. Um, so right now they can just plug into the generator if they need to, it'll automatically connect towards the system. Um, until then, they can run the system off the solar, be silent out here, and, um, and quiet running. And that's pretty much got that on that part, guys. Okay, guys, so a lot of people ask, what can one Magnum run? So I want to say a thank you to the customers we work for today, giving us the courtesy to let us film and show people and educate. I'm always grateful to be able to work for people and also grateful to be able to show what that powers afterwards because people's privacy we deeply uh, is a deeply important thing to us. Um, with that said, this is a uh, recess, got LED lights, um, 
run pump system for the house, um, refrigerator, toaster oven. Um, you see right here, lighting for a bathroom, uh, shower. Um, right over here is the Magnum remote for the system. We just went ahead and ran that in the wall there, below the service panel so they can easily access that inside the house. Um, got fan system up here and TV's running. That, that's always a guarantee we're not faking this. <laughs> the TV's running. And then you got um, they can heat too with a pellet stove, um, which that also has uh, some hookup for electricity as well. So, uh, I mean, here you can see that if you're a tiny house owner, small cabin, um, small house out in the woods, I mean, you can do a lot with a little, and there's an air conditioning system uh, in the wall too. Um, you do a mini split, just like we've done a lot of tiny houses. So guys, that's pretty much it on this install. If you wanna check us out, check us out at offgridcontracting.com. And as always, until we see you again, I look forward to working for you. <laughs>